of a fascinating and diverse group of organisms. They can be found nearly everywhere, from saltwater and brackish environments, in flowing streams and rivers, and throughout the water columns of natural lakes and reservoirs. The role that algae play in these environments is crucial for the functioning of healthy ecosystems. In this video, we will be showing you some of the most common genera of freshwater bloom-forming algae and give you some tips and tricks for how to identify them. Learning how to identify these algae may be helpful for making informed management decisions for nuisance algal blooms in the field. Cyanobacteria are some of the oldest organisms in aquatic systems and even played a major role in providing oxygen to our atmosphere over 3 billion years ago. They are unique among the algae due to their prokaryotic cellular structure. Today, cyanobacteria have become well known for their bloom forming capabilities, and as a consequence, many have developed a bad reputation. Sometimes, blooms of cyanobacteria are classified as HABs, or harmful algal blooms, because some species are capable of producing dangerous toxins. Microcystis is a planktonic cyanobacterium. This group is fairly well known because of the bright green surface scums that it can form during a bloom event. Because of its planktonic form, microcystis is able to be evenly dispersed throughout the water column. Under a microscope, you'll be able to see that microcystis can form irregularly shaped, dark colored colonies. Dilicospermum is a cyanobacterium that exists in both planktonic and filamentous forms. It is shaped into multi-celled chains that resemble a string of pearls. A close relative of Dilicospermum is Nostoc. Under a microscope, these two genera look nearly identical, but in a macro view, Nostoc can be identified by the gelatinous scums and spheres that it often forms. Aphanosomenon can be filamentous or free-floating in form. Blooms of Aphanosomenon can resemble grass clippings floating on the surface of the water. Lingbia is a filamentous cyanobacterium that forms dense mats that can float on the water's surface, be suspended throughout the water column, or lay on top of sediments. These mats can become a nuisance in aquatic systems because they can impede recreational activities, block out other forms of aquatic life, and disrupt the natural ecosystem balance. The green algae make up a large group of organisms that share many of the same ultrastructural features, such as their multiple flagella and photosynthetic pigments. Bloom-forming greens include Edegonium, whose filaments have apical scars that look like the top of a mason jar, Mugiosha, that has a diagnostic lens between the cells in its filaments, and Hydrodictyon, which possesses a unique hexagonal configuration of cells that looks like a mesh or net-like structure to the naked eye. The last genus of green algae that we will discuss is Spirogyra. This type of algae is known for its bright green color and slimy, slippery texture. Under a microscope, the tightly spiraled chloroplasts of Spirogyra stand out and are an easy feature to remember for its identification. Another common bloom-forming genus found in North Carolina is Euglena. This group of organisms is able to produce bright red scums on the surface of the water that can make for an alarming sight to the untrained eye. Under the microscope, these organisms are highly modal thanks to their emergent flagellum and their unique movement called metaboly. Euglena are easily distinguishable from other microscopic forms of life by the presence of a bright red stigma, or eye spot, that is used to sense changes in light. We hope that this short video has given you helpful insight into the microscopic world of algae. Algae are fascinating and diverse members of our waterways, and we are constantly learning more about their function and impact within aquatic ecosystems. If you have any questions about the content that we have presented in this video, 
please contact the NC State Aquatic Plant Management Group at aquaticplants at ncsu.edu or the Center for Applied Aquatic Ecology at aquatic underscore ecology at ncsu.edu.